G'day, welcome back to GT Lab. Today we're going to be looking at Tomverk's new firmware update. It includes a new machine called the Grainer, a granular synth. Let's check out how it works. So what is a granular synth? Well, a granular synth is a machine that cuts samples into tiny pieces and plays them back in different ways. This granular synth is polyphonic and it uses all the granular controls that you would expect from a granular synth. So on the source page, when you go to choose a machine, you'll see now that we have Grainer, a new machine. So if you just choose that, you can choose a sample just like you would with a single player. And now once you've loaded the sample, you'll see that you have all these new kind of parameters up here that can be changed. Let's go through them. Let's have a look at the first parameter, which is density. The lower the density, the less playback of the grains. The higher the density, the more playback of those grains. Then we have the size of the grains. So this is basically how long the grains are. So if you go down really low, you see the grains are quite short. And as you go up, the grains get longer. Then you have the position here, so where you want the sample to start from. The scan controls the speed and direction of the playback of the grains. And the spread adds random play positions of the grains. And the panning pans the grains over the left and right stereo field. You can also tune the sample. If you move down to the second page, we have some other parameters. The direction, whether we're going forward or backwards. So you have an amount of grains, so how many grains are played. That's what the amount is here. And you also have this kind of like an envelope shaper for the grains, so you can change the way the envelope plays those grains. And then here you have this play mode, how the grains are played, whether they're randomly played, whether they're in sync with the tempo, or whether they're using the oscillator, which creates continuous sound. Any of these parameters can be tweaked by LFOs. So with this particular track, I am tweaking the position of the grains and also the size of the grains. Uh, amongst other things, I've got some effects in there. I have a saturated delay and a comb filter, which is also being modulated in different ways. But as you can see, it creates very interesting soundscapes. So on track three, you can hear there's a few things going on there. I'm actually modulating the density and the shape of the grains, as well as putting some effects on there. Um, what have I got on there? Just some reverb and chorus, and a compressor and a comb filter. Let's have a listen to that. So you get some really interesting sound design going on. If I put in these two together now, you'll have a listen. So with a little bit of modulation, you can do so much with this new granular synth. The new firmware update also has included a couple of extra things that I've noticed in the sends. I have noticed in the filter page, you have high and low pass filters. Also in the buses, I've noticed now you have high and low pass filters on those buses as well. So there's a few new features, but the main one is the Grainer. It's unbelievable. Go and check it out if you can. It's a really cool synth. Hope you enjoyed the video on Tomvex new Grainer Granular Synth. This box just keeps getting better and better. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and we'll see you at the next one.